Hi, in this video I want to ask you sketch and label four different types of chromosomes based on the position of the centromere. If you know how to answer this question, please take a sheet of paper, and make your sketch and show position of centromere and name such types of chromosomes and then you can compare your sketches with my drawings and explanations. And I will proceed with um, my explanations. And here is a career type. This is human career type. And as you see, there is 23 pairs are present, and 22 of them uh, autosomes, and two of them sex chromosomes, one large X chromosome, uh, and one small Y chromosome. And uh, you instantly know that this is. Um, karyotype of the male. If uh, two X chromosomes would be present, that would mean that this is karyotype of the female. And um, here uh, I want to show you uh, chromosome and sister chromatid. So this is two sister chromatids that is connected uh, at the center. They have two centromeres and this is uh, point of their connection later they would be pulled to the different parts of the cell at the um, as the process of uh, mitosis and um, such position in the middle called uh, metacentric so this is when um, two arms are equal size and uh, this arm are equal to this arm and um, another uh, I want to show you here this is probably chromosome number one two and three belongs to this group and um, chromosome X also and uh, another type of uh, chromosomes called uh, submetacentric and here is a two sister chromatids and in submetacentric we have centromeres that um, a little bit closer to one end of the chromosomes so it's called submetacentric Uh, of course, this is one word. I just don't have enough space, so I just write it in two lines. Um, and as you see here, there is one long arm present. And another arm is short arm. So um, this is second type and we can see this for example uh, chromosome number 6 and uh, all this uh, row probably belongs to this uh, type and the chromosome number 4 and 5. So um, third type of the chromosomes uh, is called acrocentric and this is type of uh, chromosomes that is connected at the very end of the chromosomes so uh, centromere is about the end of the chromosome and it's called acrocentric So this type of chromosome is almost all these chromosomes and these chromosomes and probably this is telecentric and this um, also would be acrocentric. So um, 
This is three types of uh, chromosomes that can be found in the human uh, genome. And the fourth type is uh, called telocentric and it's not present in the human karyotype but can be found in the plant kingdom and uh, in some animals for example like uh, mice and uh, centromere is at the very end of the chromosome so two sister chromo chromatids connected um, at the ends and uh, it's called telocentric so um, as you see with um, different colors this is uh, modern techniques it's uh, relatively easy to differentiate uh, different uh, chromosomes and make pairs and um, at the beginning of the 20th century such techniques were not uh, available uh, scientists were able to uh, paint uh, chromosomes only with uh, dyes that uh, make white and black strips uh, that stands for the euchromatin and uh, heterochromatin euchromatin uh, is a type of uh, DNA sequence where genes are present and um, heterochromatin that is black strips where um, genes usually not present or present in small quantities and um, also I want to add um, that scientists at that uh, time uh, had a really big problem to differentiate um, chromosomes from each other depending on this technique only so they use it uh, to divide um, human uh, chromosomes to three different types depending on their size and on the position of the uh, centromere but now with um, modern techniques and with the use of, of the computers we can do it um, relatively easily and every newborn in the United States are checked for uh, different uh, uh, kinds of uh, genetic disorders for example trisomy 21 that is uh, Down syndrome or uh, disbalance of the uh, X chromosome or Y chromosome that also cause many different genetic disorders so hopefully this information will interesting to you and you will able to learn something new please subscribe to my new videos uh, write comments and uh, thank you for your attention and goodbye